Today is the 23rd of December and the reading is Psalm 95 verses 6 to 7, the song. It's Sunday the 16th of July 2017. I find myself sitting cross-legged in a church in southern India. The temperature outside is rising. It's already a cool 35 degrees at 9 a.m. My linen trousers are stuck to me as the multitude of mosquitoes continue their daily assault on me and the team I lead. How long, O oh Lord, until I can return to the air conditioning and a pair of shorts, my mind asks on repeat. I feel guilty for even thinking it when the pastor introduces the special guests, besides my team, for the service that day. 25 pastors have come from Odisha, formerly Orissa, a state famed for its vicious persecution of the church, to share their stories, testimonies, and lead the gathered congregation in worship. What happens over the next 25 to 30 minutes is the most moving, awe-inspiring, heaven meets earth worship I have ever witnessed and been part of. They sing at the top of their lungs and dance, move, shout, raise their hands and lie prostrate. I am equally awestruck by their passion and humbled by their dependence upon God with which they live their lives and speak. In Psalm 95, six to seven, the author calls us to come bow down and kneel before the Lord our maker. Just as the shepherds, magi and Indian pastors before us, we too are invited to approach Christ in humble reverence, to worship him and admit our dependence. This is our song. God knows humanity's great sin problem. He knows how desperately we need him. And to answer that deep longing, he has given us himself in Jesus. It is the greatest gift. This Advent, May our lives be marked by the adoration that comes from seeing a God of glory and dependence by virtue of seeing the God of grace, who has redeemed us and brought us as sheep into his fold. That's a quote from Tim Keller. Let us pray. Father, I thank you that in Christ your grace abounds to me. May your grace shape my worship and lead me to depend upon you. Amen. The lesson for today is to memorize and pray the Lord's Prayer regularly to deepen your adoration and dependence on God.